Happy Friday and welcome back to Primetime Sports. I'm Dominic Shirosky. On today's episode, we're going to fill you in on the baseball team's most recent outing and their upcoming weekend schedule, share some exciting news about the women's beach volleyball team, and we'll take a look at some highlights from last night's basketball game. But first up, baseball. The Panthers fell 10-0 against Georgia Tech this past Wednesday, which means the Yellow Jackets will sweep the annual season series and drops the Panthers to 3-5 on the season. Senior first baseman Jake Corso had a good outing, batting 3-for-4, which included a double. The Panthers look to put this tough loss behind them today as the first game of a three-game series begins against Sanford, who leads the all-time series 34-33. Now, good news for the women's beach volleyball squad, as they will make their first ever trip to Texas to play in the Horned Frog Challenge. The 16th ranked Sandy Panthers kick off the first of four duels today as they face off against TCU, who they beat twice last year. This trip will also be somewhat of a homecoming as four of the Sandy Panthers are from Texas. Speaking of home, the Panthers will be led for the last time by their four seniors tomorrow as they defend their home court against Little Rock. Here's what forward Malik Benlevy had to say about his legacy at GSU. I'm here with Georgia State's team captain, V. Malik Benlevy. Now, Benlevy, I've been dying to ask you this question. You scored the game-winning buzzer beater against Alabama for an 83-81. to 81. Then later, you were named as GSU Student Athlete of the Week. How did it feel to have that recognition your senior year? Oh, it felt great uh, being able to knock down that shot against Alabama. It was really for Devin. I mean, we know Devin transferred from there, mm -hmm. so we wanted to win that game for him. And me being able to knock it down for him meant a lot. And being Student Athlete of the Week, uh, that's great. I mean, I don't really care for individual awards, but I appreciate it. And you've been here since your freshman year, so you've been here from start to finish. Others have been transferring in and out, but you've been here from the beginning to the end. What is one thing that you want to be remembered by your teammates, coaches, and the GSU community? You know, I want to be remembered for being Malik. That guy that's always happy, having fun. I don't want everybody to remember the brotherhood that we got here at Georgia State. Like, I've basically been with some of these guys for four years, so they're like my real brothers. We, been to the NCAA tournament together, you know, won a seven championship together. What is one song that gets you in the zone to perform at your best on that court in there? Uh, any Kodak Black song. Uh, now I'm listening to Stunner for Vegas. He got a song called <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, y'all can, can blink that out. But yeah, that's one of my songs that get me turned. You can check out what the other seniors had to say on our YouTube channel. Now, as promised, here are the highlights from the Panthers' latest win against Arkansas State, which marks the sixth time in eight seasons the Panthers have won at least 20 games. That's all we have for you this time. Make sure you check us out next week on YouTube and follow us on all social media at Prime Sports. That's sports with a Z. I'm Dominic Shirosky, and as always, have a great weekend.